Dear faithful, today is the feast of St. Lawrence, and this is one of the great uh, saints of the early church. He is truly a saint of suffering, but he, is not, and he did not suffer with a grim face or, or with so much agony in cruciating his mind. But St. Lawrence suffered with joy, as you will soon hear. We learn from his life that we are also meant to carry our sufferings or our sorrows with joy. We learn from the devotion to our Lord's holy face that Christ was the man of sorrows. He took upon himself the punishment which belongs to us, and that's why he suffered so much and his mind was filled with anxiety and sorrow. But since he carried our sorrows and he did the perfect sacrifice for us on the cross, we are meant to, as St. Paul uh, writes, rejoice in him, in our Savior. St. Lawrence was the famous martyr of Rome and one of the seven original deacons who, or, or seven, one of the seven deacons of the Roman Church who were in charge of giving help to the poor and the needy. And when a big persecution broke out, the Pope, who then was St. Sixtus, was condemned to death. And as the Pope was led to execution, St. Lawrence followed him, and St. Lawrence was crying and asking, Father, meaning the Pope, where are you going without your deacon? And the Pope answered, I am not leaving you, my son. In three days you will follow me. And then St. Lawrence, who up until now had been so sorrowful and had been crying, when he heard that soon he would be martyred as well and would go to heaven, then St. Lawrence was filled with joy. He gave to the poor the rest of the money he had and even sold expensive church items to have more money to give away. The prefect of Rome, who was in charge of the persecution, who was a greedy pagan, he thought that the Catholic Church had some great fortune hidden away. So the prefect ordered Lawrence to bring the church's treasure to him, and the saint said he would do so in three days. Then Lawrence went through the city of Rome and gathered together all the poor and sick people supported by the church. He collected them, gathered them together, and then took them to the prefect and said, this is the church's treasure. And truly, the greatest treasure the Catholic Church has is that she is in charge of her children's immortal souls, whom she guides to heaven. The prefect, though, was, of course, greatly angered. He had expected gold, money, and diamonds. So he condemned St. Lawrence to a slow and cruel death. He was tied on top of an iron grill over a slow fire that roasted his body little by little. But in the midst of these sufferings and tortures, St. Lawrence was burning with so much love of God that he didn't even feel the flames. In fact, God gave him so much strength and joy that he even joked and said to the judge, turn me over, I'm done on this side. And just before he died, he said, it's cooked enough now. Then he prayed that the city of Rome might be converted to our Lord and that the Catholic faith might spread all over the world. And after that, he went to receive the martyr's reward. And indeed, thanks to the prayers of this great 
joyful saint. Rome truly was converted to Jesus and the Catholic faith spread all over the world. So dear faithful, from St. Lawrence, let us look to him and learn from him that we can suffer with joy if we remember how much Jesus suffered for us. So we should not complain about things, but instead suffer our little troubles in peace so that we can offer them up for the, uh, those people and priests who work in missionary fields and who preach and teach the souls whom God wants to see in heaven. May God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.